The most common reason for performing knee replacement surgery is degeneration of the joint, more commonly known as osteoarthritis. And this affects either the entire joint, such as the end of the thigh bone here and the top of the tibia or the shin bone, and the back end of the kneecap, which you don't see in this model. You can also have osteoarthritis only affecting parts of the joint, such as the inside of the joint, which would require a partial knee replacement as opposed to total knee replacement for the entire joint, or it can affect the top of the, the thigh bone, which is the area where the kneecap articulates, also known as the patellar femoral joint, and that would require a patellofemoral replacement. A knee replacement is done by entering the knee joint through an incision through the tendon that attaches the quadriceps muscle to the kneecap, and then shifting the kneecap sideways, allowing the surgeon to enter into the knee joint to put in the femoral component on top of the femur and the tibial component on top of the tibia and also a patellar component underneath the kneecap. You can also have a partial knee replacement which is done through a similar approach except the incision does not extend as far up. The patella is shifted out of the way slightly to allow the surgeon to put in the components of the partial knee replacement as you can see here. And to show you a little better, you can open up a little more and now you can see that one part of the joint is completely normal and not, a, not operated on and the other part is operated on. With a patellofemoral replacement where the top of the femur is affected, the surgeon would remove a little bit of bone off the top of the femur while retaining the rest of the joint because it's normal and then putting a patellar button such as this underneath the kneecap to articulate with that component to complete the operation. After knee replacement surgery, you're expected to be in the hospital for about two to three days, occasionally a little longer. You will be starting physiotherapy while you're in the hospital and you'll get up and walk and this will be relatively easy early on. However, after surgery, because of uh, the pain of the surgery, which can last about two weeks and then it gets a little better, it's extremely important to really persevere with the physiotherapy and to get your range of motion back. If you don't get the range of motion back early on, it's very difficult to get it later. And then after you've uh, obtained a good range of motion, then you can work on strengthening. And for the most part, by six to eight weeks, you're doing quite well. Now, I often get asked, should I have both knees replaced at the same time? Because osteoarthritis is a commonly a bilateral disease affecting the knee, it is reasonable to consider having them both done at the same time if you don't want to go through the recovery phase twice. But you have to understand that the medical risks of bilateral knee replacement surgery is doubled compared to unilateral knee replacement surgery. Also, some patients have a lot of deformity and simply cannot recover and rehabilitate if only one knee is done with the other knee very deformed. And for those patients, it is helpful to have both of them done at the same time.